It's Chicago, it's 7.15 a.m. I had occasion to jam last night before I went to sleep with my friend Jim Cohen. Two guitars, a little riff, and A minor. For those of you who don't know what a jam is, it's sort of like a musical stroll, sort of an ambling, rambling walk through rhythm, little melody improvised on top. It's very amorphous. It seems to be something that you do without any purpose. It's just a, sometimes very circular. It's almost like panning for gold in a musical sense. Most of it, you have to understand, is like panning for gold. You're going to get silt and rock, nothing of any great value generally, but occasionally in a jam, you'll unearth a musical nugget of gold. And it could last anywhere from five to 45 seconds. And it's a little moment that's like, wow, this is really profound. This is, this is great. You remember back about 15 minutes ago, we hit that little spot. Maybe you could pull that out and use it as a song. The first time I ever jammed, I was in sixth grade. I went to my friend Andy Cammon's house. He was 11 years old. I was 12, we set up in his basement. I had my little Princeton reverb amp. And when I plunked the E string and he started pounding on the tom-toms, this incredible sensation happened. It's hard to explain. It was almost like the borders of our beings had erased and we, we kind of merged as one. That's the way I felt about it anyway. We're, we're making music. and I guess that's one of the things about music. It brings people together. It erases borders. And we were so bonded together so I felt that it, I never felt that close to anything or anybody before. It just drew me in and I, I had no words to explain the situation. And sometimes when that happens, all I can do is just sort of repress this laugh. I could have just as easily cried, but how unbecoming that would have been for a 12 year old. The idea of, of jamming, going on an exploration, not having any particular purpose or destination is a great way to kind of become more creative just to see what's out there rather than follow what's already known so I definitely will try to do a little bit more of that today and throughout the coming weeks having just jammed and been reminded of that time at my friend Andy Cammons